What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and say hello to my little friend Pico. I have not used my commercial VPN since I started using Pico from Deeper Connect. There's no monthly fees, there's no annual fees. This is 100% completely free after purchase, and it does so much more like block ads, block YouTube ads too, making this your best travel companion, making this your best multimedia companion for anywhere you are in the world. Pico is going to let you do so much that you didn't think was possible thanks to having geo restrictions on the web. You'll be able to watch your BBC programming, you'll be able to watch The Zone from wherever you are, you'll be able to watch any geo restricted content. And if you're like me, you use a VPN service, but there's, there's just so much pain when it comes to commercial VPNs because those IP addresses get logged and they get blocked from those services. Well, with Pico, that's not a concern. That's not going to happen at all. If you're trying to get around some geo restrictions, if you're trying to get around a whole bunch of stuff, this is your best friend. This is your best travel companion. This is your best way to get around any of those geo restrictions. Let's get into it. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my little friend Pico. <music> Let's just start with the unboxing. I'm going to show you what you get when you buy Pico. Again, a decentralized VPN. This is encrypted. There's no logs. There's no subscriptions. You're not going to have any IPs that have been flagged as coming from VPN service. If you've tried to watch the BBC using a regular VPN, you know they're going to tell you you're still using a VPN. If you tried to use a US Netflix account while you're not in the US or any other service like that, most of the times they know you're on a VPN and they're going to block that IP address because it's been it's been logged as being a part of a, a pool of VPN addresses. Well, with Pico, you don't have that problem whatsoever. Again, this is a decentralized VPN and it only gets better based on its users. Just to give you some of the key specs about Pico, the max download you can get from this is 100 megabits down. It's a decentralized VPN, but it's backed by blockchain technology, so it's super secure, it's encrypted. All of your personal information stays on device, it does not go anywhere within the web. You also can block ads, even YouTube ads, guys, you can block YouTube's ads with this. You also have parental controls. There's no subscription, so you buy this device once and that's basically it. But the number one thing is you can unlock the World Wide Web. You can unblock geo-restricted features. And again, because you don't have a commercial VPN, because this is user-based and you're actually sharing your IP with other users, that IP address does not get logged, does not get flagged as belonging to a VPN. So you're gonna be able to stream and you're gonna be able to do everything you want Thanks to having that geo unlockability -ness. That was a little word I just made up, geo unlockability -ness. But enough, enough joking around. This is a very serious product and you're gonna be able to do a lot with Pico. So let's just show you what you can do with Pico and how you can do it and all of that fun stuff. But I do wanna mention one thing is just the build quality is definitely top notch on Pico. This is one high quality device. You have this nice tempered glass on the top. You have these metal sides and it just feels super, super premium. And I love to see USB on all of the four sides here. USB-C is definitely the future. So they did a really nice job with Pico, but let's show you how to set it up and get started with it. And you're really gonna be happy that you purchased this. Check my link down below if you're interested in purchasing it, because I can give you the best up-to-date pricing. Pico only gets better over time as more users join the network. Again, this is sort of like torrenting. The more users out there, the more peers, the more seeds, the faster your connection is going to be. And I'll show you all about that in just a little bit. But what I want to show you about Pico is it's a very ingenious idea. Now, this is meant to travel with you. This is meant to stay in your bag. They do have other products that give you faster speeds. But again, as a travel buddy, as a travel companion at that coffee shop or the hotel or wherever you are, maybe even the airport, that's plenty of speed to get your work done, plenty of speed to watch some Netflix or some BBC iPlayer, which I've been doing a lot of thanks to having Pico. But let me just show you how you can use this. Inside the box, you get a couple cords here. And again, everything is USB, so that's definitely the future. I'm happy that they future-proofed this product. And you also can connect to Ethernet using these two adapters that they give you, USB-C to Ethernet. One of the ways that you can use Pico, again, if you want to use this as a whole house solution, you can. Keep in mind, 100 megabits down is your max on this particular device, but they do have other devices that go a little bit faster. But number one, you want to take one end of the USB-C to Ethernet connection, plug it into your modem from your ISP. Once you do that, take the other end with the Ethernet cable and plug it into the WAN port of your router. This way, all of the internet traffic coming from your entire network is going to get routed through Pico. So this is a great way to do it once again, if you want to ensure that all of your traffic, and, and again, if you have faster speeds than 100 megabits down, it still does not make much of a difference because when you're watching Netflix from abroad or BBC iPlayer or any other type of content like that, you really don't need more than about 10 megabits down to stream. 
So you're gonna have plenty of, plenty of bandwidth to do all of your streaming activities. Again, this is one way that you can use it, but the other way that you can use it is with the additional Wi-Fi adapter to both repeat your network that you're trying to get access to and get access to the internet. They can use this device a bunch of different ways, guys, and you just look how small it is. That's, that's why I really like this device. It's a travel buddy and it's no bigger than a pen drive. It's actually really, really small. And thanks to this additional Wi-Fi adapter, this is all that you need to get going when you're at the hotel, at that airport, or even at the coffee shop. This is a way you can connect to the network that you're trying to get access to and give your devices access as well. But this is a universal product and there's a bunch of different ways that you can use it. And that's what really impressed me with Pico is just the universal aspect of it. There's just so many ways that you can use it. Now, if we take a look at the admin control panel of Pico, it's very well laid out and it's very easily navigatable. So no matter what your skill level is, what your comfortable level is with technology, you are going to be able to figure this out. If not, just kind of follow through my, my little explanation of everything and you'll be just fine. But take a look at the world map, you'll see those red lines. Those red lines indicate where you have nodes connected to. So at the moment, I have a couple of red lines going to, going to the UK area, and I have one line going over to Canada. Those are the nodes that I've chosen to connect to. And you just saw a blue node disappear. That was someone connecting to me personally, so again, I am acting as a node. This is the People's VPN, so I am sharing my connection. Other than that, on the right side, you'll see your memory usage of the Pico device, as well as the CPU usage. And then you'll see your current DPN node. So I'm using smart route right now. I'll get into the different routes in just a little bit, but you have full route, you have smart routing, and then you can disable it all together. And then you also have a little list, a little log of, of what exactly happened, who connected to you, where you were trying to connect to, if you had any, any blocked trackers or blocked ads or anything like that. So again, it's very well laid out. I think they did a nice job with their admin control panel. You'll also get to see real-time traffic statistics. Clicking on the traffic tab is where you get to see more information and, and Deeper Network does a really nice job of giving you probably more information than you're gonna wanna check out. But you can see your app session ratio, so how much time you spent on Twitter. You can see Google. Underneath it, you can see my BitTorrent time. And yes, you can torrent on this as long as the node supports it. You also see your local traffic, your client traffic, your server traffic, and your session speed in real time right at the bottom here. If you wanna click on the log, there's a full Full detailed log, but again, most people aren't going to have to do this. I don't really think you need to either. Under the DPN tab, again, your decentralized VPN. This is the most important setting for the Pico device. And this is where you just want to take some time and set it up. You have a couple options. Smart route, which you can set up certain domains to go to certain areas. And I'll show you that in just one second. You also have full route. So if you want all of your traffic to go to a specific node, if you want all of your internet traffic to go to Canada or the UK or whatever node you have, this is where you'd want to set it up. And if you don't want to use this device at all, go ahead and click on DPN disabled. But leaving it on smart route, I just want to show you exactly how you can connect to different areas. Now I've been using this mainly for the BBC programming and I've also been using it for some other websites that are geo-restricted. But under the, under the tunnel tab is where you can select where exactly you want Pico to connect to, what VPNs, if you will, you want this device to connect to. So for example, there's pretty much every single, every single area on the globe is here, but not every single area will have a node available. Clicking on tunnel is where you want to select what nodes you want to connect to, what VPNs, if you will, you want to connect to. So at the moment, I'm connected to Canada and the UK and Northern Ireland. So let's go, for example, let's see if Morocco has any nodes available. And you can see Morocco does not have any nodes. If I do a refresh, it's still a zero. So my Moroccan brothers out there, pick up one of these devices and let us share your IP address. So again, you can see that for most major areas where you'd want to use a specific geo-restricted service, they do have a bunch of nodes and the active tunnel number doesn't represent all of the nodes available in that specific region. It's just how many nodes you personally are connected to. Think of this Pico device and any other devices from Deeper Network that are similar. This is a, this is like a peer-to-peer -peer network. It is a peer-to-peer -peer sharing network. But instead of sharing files like you would on torrents, this is sharing your IP address. So there's no way for Netflix, there's no way for BBC, there's no way for DAZN, there's no way for any of these geo-restricted content companies to actually figure out that you're not where you say you are, to, that you're not where the IP address says you are. And that's why I've been super, super impressed with this device. But let's continue on with this review. I'm just gonna show you the domain configuration because this is important if you have it in smart mode. This is where you're gonna to wanna to put in certain, certain domains that you want routed to certain areas. So for example, if you want the BBC to be routed obviously to the United Kingdom, you can put in any other service that you want, even fast.com, any, any domain name 
that you want routed to a specific node. So let's put fast.com to Canada and add that there. But going under the sharing tab, this is where you can either enable or disable sharing. Again, I really recommend that you guys share if you pick up one of these devices. Now, if you're on a limited connection, I completely understand not wanting to share all of your allotment with some strangers. So just be as generous as you want and, and put as many gigabytes as you want to share. And my ISP does not really favors torrents, so I disable torrenting. Again, you can torrent on this if the person chose to enable BitTorrent sharing. So again, your privacy is number one concern. We don't want any copyright letters. You don't want any copyright letters. So if your ISP does not allow you to, to do any torrenting, go ahead and disable that. And you can also choose how much bandwidth you want to share. I have 10 gigabytes up, but I choose to just leave it unlimited because it has no effect on my download speed. Now the next tab I want to show you is under web filter again. This is a great product. Not only is it your decentralized VPN, you can get access to all content around the world, but you're also going to be able to block all those ads around the world, all those stupid trackers and any malicious activity that's coming to your coming to your devices. You can block it right from the Pico device as well. So you can see I'm blocking about 4% of my, my web traffic and that's not bad at all. You can also disable certain activities if you don't want certain people in your household to get access to it for number of hours if you will you can go ahead and set a time zone for how long you want to block this stuff but that's really up to you I'm just gonna leave it on that setting right now and you can see over the last 24 hours how much you've blocked you can even block YouTube ads guys now I don't really do this I don't recommend it because it kind of supports my channel but if you want to block those ads you can go ahead and block YouTube ads as well now let's just take a look at a speed test and for the most part I get about 80 megabits down and that's something that I'm really impressed with again the max speed of Pico is 100 megabits. They do have other devices that go up to 500 megabits. So if you're on a faster connection, you might want to choose something else. But just for streaming BBC content or DAZN or any other type of streaming content, 81 is more than enough. So again, I really like this product because of the speed and because of the portability. When I go on vacation, be sure, 100%, no doubt about it, I am taking Pico with me. Doing a similar speed test in Canada, I'm getting about 7.6, 7.9. Now I haven't really used Canada all that often to be quite honest. Again, I've been mainly using this in the UK, but I did switch it to other locations just for a little bit of fun. But in my experience, it's been perfectly great for streaming media content. I have not noticed any issues when, when watching full length movies on Netflix and I've watched a bunch of them. I've also watched a bunch of TV shows as I mentioned on BBC. So for a streaming network, you're gonna have a very nice experience and the, and the deeper network Pico device does connect to the fastest stream possible. So again, your speeds will vary. This is peer-to-peer, -peer, but in terms of streaming, in terms of overall enjoyment when it comes to trolling the web on someone else's IP address, trolling the web in a different country than where you are, it's been a fun experience. It's been very pleasurable. And if you find that one node isn't particularly fast enough for you, instead of letting Pico do it, you can go ahead and switch that IP address manually. That's it when it comes to Pico from Deeper Connect. I've stopped using my commercial VPN, and I'm just using this in my home and even in my office. I've been really impressed with it. I've been very happy with it. And I really like the fact that I don't have those commercial VPN IP addresses that get blocked by just about every website out there. This is not going to get blocked thanks to users like me, thanks to users like you. And it's an awesome product that I can recommend. If you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments below. But this is Pico and it definitely should be on your list this year, especially if you're a road warrior, if you're a jet setter. Take this wherever you go thanks to its portability and thanks to USB-C all around. You're not going to have to carry much with it, just a USB-C cable, connect to Wi-Fi, and you're good to go. Appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.